Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. For more information, visit bit.ly slash dbdisclose. Hey guys, this is your friend Iggy back again. If you're like me, you probably have a few of these NVMe M.2 PCIe SSDs laying around. You bought this one because it was the fastest. Then a month or two down the line, you bought this one because it was the fastest. But you don't want to put this one in the second slot, if you have a second slot, because then you disable some SATA ports and maybe you have a few drives that you want to keep there. So this video is going to help you on that. So today, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the SIG M.2 NGFF SSD M key NVMe PCIe 3.0 by 4 adapter card. So this guy allows you to put NVMe, remember I said NVMe because a lot of these don't support it, so this is pretty important. It allows you to put an NVMe drive, an NVMe M.2 PCIe SSD drive into it and you could pop it in your machine in a by 4 slot, a by 8 slot, or by 16 slot and then you got your drive back and you could use the other one again so that's pretty awesome and well let's get to the unboxing so I can show you what's inside alright so here she is again the SIG M.2 NGFF SSD M key NVMe PCIe 3.0 by 4 adapter card alright so the front pretty simple brown package with the S or the swirl, yeah, it's an S. See, it comes this way, comes up here. M.2, NGFF, SSD, PCIe, card adapter. Then it tells you a few of the things down here. On the bottom, we have the UPC, serial number, model number, all that good stuff. Side, just the SIG. Some of their certificates, very important. Rojas compliant, SIG and nothing all right so let's go ahead open this up safety first okay so then here we have the installation guide this is going to be a basic installation guide i'm going to film another video showing you guys how to install this okay accommodates and very important and I'll speak to you through the specs as I'm doing the unboxing as I've already mentioned it already adds it adds an M.2 PCIe SSD to your machine without the need for a socket so that's pretty cool it accommodates 2230, 2242, 2260 and 2280 form factors for M.2 PCIe SSDs and that's either NVMe or AHCI so very important now it will support PCIe 3.0 2.0 and 1.0 now one very important thing to mention on this guy is that boards made prior to 2015 may not support NVMe so it's not the card it's the board it may not support it so check with your motherboard manual okay and uh, then here they go over the device itself, package contents, the adapter, screw and nut, low profile bracket, and installation guide. I'll show you all that in a second. System requirements, uh, Windows 10, 8, 7, server, you know, so we're good there. Then it goes over some of the compatibility with some of the drives, though. This is going to change as they get released. Then they go over the hardware installation, fitting it in there, screwing it down, and then driver installation. There are no drivers required for this guy, so you're safe. I fooled you guys. It's good that they let you know that this is a blank page right there, because, well, it's not. It's got the number six here, so it's not completely blank. But anyway, technical support and warranty, and about SIG, so we're done with that. Some foam. 
Here we have the low profile adapter. This is pretty important if you're trying to put this on a uh, maybe a 2U server or maybe a ITX case or something along those lines. Just a lot smaller. And uh, nothing else here. And well, forgot to mention it is in black. So pretty cool. I'm gonna put that box aside. And now we'll get to the actual drive. Actually, here they have. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to. Oh no, okay, never mind. Cancel that. They have two screws and a nut. So you can see a little bit closer there. Gold and a black screw, and then a nut. Okay, they are different size screws, so make sure you pay attention to which one you're using. <clears throat> All right, just put them down here. And then we have the card itself. You know, nice looking black card. Again, this is a by four PCIe slot. A little bit bigger than a by one. Because it's by four, it will fit in a by eight slot or by 16 slot, just in case you guys didn't know that. All right, so then let's say you're going to be putting this in a small form factor case. You'll just undo this screw, undo this screw, then you can pull this off and then add this guy so you can see how much smaller it is. Okay, and then it says right here, for M2, M.2 NGFF SSD 2230, well, and it goes through all the form factors to PCIe, okay? And then, you know, as an example, to show you guys how to install it, just slide it right down here. Push it in just a little bit, okay? And then we're going to screw that screw in right over here. And I'm going to use the gold one, I believe it is the gold one. Is it the gold one? I think it might be the black one. Okay, it is the black one. So you see how it's coming out through the back there. So then you're gonna hold that in place. And actually, you can see the back of the gold one does have a screw hole, so you can use that as well if you wanted to or you could use uh, maybe you can use that nut I think the nut is for the yeah the nut is for the gold one so it looks like what you can do is yeah that's what they want you to do Okay, so you would just pop this guy right in here. Just doing it by hand for now. You can always tighten it later. And then you see, and that's the way you should do it. I'm sorry, I did it the wrong way. Should have read the manual, see? So you put that in there. You put the nut in the back of that. And then you pop in that M.2 PCIe SSD, NVMe, or AHCI, doesn't matter. And then, if you're like me and you have a magnetic tip screwdriver, just pop it here. That's it, it's installed. And now all you need to do is pop it in your machine and then configure it in the BIOS. It'll pick it'll pick up as a regular NVMe PCIe M.2 SSD, but I'm gonna show you guys just how to get around that in the next video as well. But anyway, just wanted to do a quick unboxing and I ended up doing a, a brief installation as well of the SIG M.2 NGFF SSD M key NVMe PCIe 3.0 by four card adapter. Yeah. See you guys.
Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. For more information, visit bit.ly slash dbdisclose. To have your product or brand showcased on Dragon Blogger, visit bit.ly slash review my product. Thank you for watching.